and welcome to Bob's Garden. We're here in the second week of September, mid-September, uh, in the northwest hills of Connecticut, and it's time for some of our pawpaws to be harvested. This is a pawpaw tree, also known as a Simina triloba, and it is a Native American tree. Uh, they were very plentiful in colonial days. It starts its life as an understory tree. That is, that it is in shade in the woods. And when the colonists came, um, they started to clear out large patches of forest and for farmland. And then this tree did not have a proper environment to grow up, and a lot of it died. So fortunately, there were a few of these pawpaws left in enough spots for some breeding programs to um, at universities, horticultural programs, to start uh, bringing them back with these hybrids. They start their life um, in the, the one-year-old um, tree and in shade, and they're very, very difficult to transplant. They have a very large taproot. So when you plant them, uh, they have to be a spot that they're gonna be forever. And um, they need to be in full sun for their second year of life onwards. So the best way, uh, if you're interested, is a great Native American. Uh, it's a underutilized uh, tree, and plus you get fruit. So uh, the best way to purchase these are as a two-year-old whips. It's just, they come bare root, and it's just this very thin twig, and this is the way we, we planted these, oh, about seven or eight years ago, maybe even a little bit more, uh, as these little thin whips. And uh, you can see they grow to 15 to 20 feet, um, and have a nice leaves. Uh, it makes a nice addition to the landscape. Now, pawpaws have to ripen on the tree. Um, that's why you don't see them too much in farmers markets because they can't be picked too early. So we have this nice pawpaw here and we just touch it and feel it. This one's very hard. This one's, I can feel a soft. So let's pick this one. Hopefully I can get it off of here without disturbing the other ones. And I'm going to cut this open. Uh, it's a custardy kind of taste. Some of them taste a little bit like vanilla custard. Some of them have a little banana flavor. Other ones have uh, a different fruit flavors. Uh, and there's quite a bit of uh, seeds in here. So let's, uh, let's slice this open. They are really, really, really sweet. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a fruit as sweet as this. And you can see this one, one may be a little bit too, too done, but you can see these seeds in here, very large seeds, so it's not, uh, it's easy to scoop out. If I had a spoon, this would look a lot better. <laughs> and then we have the flesh left behind. So uh, this is uh, basically, it's soft, it's a soft fruit. So probably shouldn't eat this from my hard to get here delicious really really sweet the texture may be getting some some people get a little used to it but uh, it's very very high in antioxidants so um, this is a good addition to your landscape so try it out thank you for watching Bob's garden and we'll see you next time please subscribe share and comment on my videos and remember be curious, not judgmental.